Hello my strange and charmed ones, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you another What I Ate Wednesday. Um, it's Tuesday as usual and this goes up on Wednesday, so it is called What I Ate Wednesday. I feel like I always have to explain that in the beginning of this um, video. But it is like nine something and um, it's time for me to like have breakfast or eat something because I've been trying to be good and eat like pretty much you know, within like the first half hour to hour of me being awake. I don't know. I'm trying. <coughs> I'm really pushing it today. So um, let me flip over the camera to show you guys what I'm making. Okay, you guys. So for my breakfast, I'm going to have something that's pretty unbreakfast tasting. I'm going to make myself um, just like a green superfood drink thing with this new mix that I picked up at GNC. It basically has, I don't know, a bazillion things of like plant nutrition and all that sort of stuff. It's got like chlorophyll, wheatgrass, barley grass, like, oh sorry, it's not even in frame. Whoa, is it gonna focus? It has all this stuff in it. <laughs> so it's supposed to be good for you. And I feel like I've been pretty bad at um, recently like getting enough vegetables. Fruit's not a problem because I normally do eat a little bit of fruit in the day, but I don't think I get enough vegetables, so I just want to get it in at breakfast time, which is normally a time where I normally don't even bother to do very much usually, um, or a lot of times I honestly skip. So this one, um, I'm just going to show you how I make it. I just have like a cup of cold water. This came from the Brita filter, and this is just like a cocktail mixer. Pouring that in there. And then from here, I need a scoop, just one even scoop of this green stuff. And I will say, I so far I've really been liking this powder. Um, I've tried other like superfood powders like in the past. And a lot of times companies try to like make them flavored like berry or chocolate to try to cover up like the really intense like grass, it tastes like you're eating seaweed sort of uh, flavor, but it like never actually works and it actually tastes grosser. So this one is like an original flavor, which does taste like grass. Um, but it's okay for me because I feel like I know it's grass, at least it's not chocolate covered grass. You know what I mean? It tastes better just to be regular grass. And I have found that if I actually cut this with a little bit of lemon juice, you not that you barely taste it, but it tastes much more palatable. So I just put in, you know, a good amount of lemon juice in there. I just like eyeball it. Okay, so now I am going to cover this, put the lid on, and you guys, I have to put you down for one second to shake. Okay, so this is the juice. As you can tell, it's not very thick or anything. It really just has like a like a juice sort of consistency. Um, and like I said, it doesn't taste the best, but when you put the lemon juice in it, it cuts it. It almost tastes like you're drinking a salad, which I know is a little bit odd, but yeah, that's my breakfast. And of course, since it is the morning, I am also going to go ahead and take my array of little vitamins. I've got like, just, I just take different things like gummy multivitamins, vitamin C, B12, an allergy pill, just things that I need. I just feel like it gives me extra energy and especially the vitamin C is so important for right now because it's like cold and flu season. So, yep, that's what I am having with my delicious shake. Okay, you guys, so I am now in my office with my breakfasty green juice thing. Let's take a taste. Yeah, it tastes like you're drinking a salad, like literally, like drinking lettuce and like the lemon juice kind of tastes like it's some sort of, sort of like dressing. <laughs> I don't know. Not really like dressing, like you're eating like, I don't know, like a salad with like dressing, but you know what I mean? It's got like that fresh, like sort of little citrusy kick to it. So I'm going to down this before it actually um, starts to like separate. Um, yeah, and take my vitamins. 
and I will catch up with you guys for lunch. Okay, friends, um, it is lunchtime, but before I can start making my own lunch, I actually have to start on dinner. Um, and I thought I'd have you guys watch me prepare dinner because this is a new recipe for me. It's a recipe that I got from one of my good friends. Um, and it is basically a recipe for Southwestern style pulled chicken. So instead of pulled pork, it's pulled chicken. And um, she told me about this recipe and I thought it sounded like something that Michael and I would really like. And it is a crock pot meal, which is like my favorite thing in the world. Um, but it is, I guess it cooks a little bit quicker than most, you know, than other crock pot meals. So she told me to start it in the afternoon. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. I'm just going to put the stuff into the crock pot and I'm going to tell you what it is and like what I'm doing and why, I guess, um, as I go about that. So number one, I've got here a package of... I guess it was this boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Um, it's like a, a little bit less than two pounds, and it's four kind of breast fillets or whatever, nice and big. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put these into the crock pot. I'm just gonna try to fit them down at the bottom. And I'll show you guys down in the crock pot when I'm done. Um, the next thing I'm supposed to be adding to this um, is some onion, which I have dust diced up a small onion. Throwing that in on top. There we go. Also putting in some um, sweet yellow corn, about, I guess, like a cup of that. This is frozen. And I've also got a can of black beans that I've drained. Okay, next up is a little bit of um, salsa. I picked up this mild, thick and chunky salsa. And I just need to add in, I'm gonna add in I don't know, three big spoonfuls. That's, that seems good. <laughs> um, next, I'm going to add some quinoa to this. Um, Mike and I were talking about it. It's not in my friend's original um, recipe for this, but I thought that um, instead of doing rice in this, um, which my friend, I don't think she adds rice directly to it, but I just thought like maybe if I added quinoa, it would just kind of um, like cook up and kind of add like a little extra bulk to this so that we've got like a carb in with the chicken. So we are going, I'm just gonna add this entire package of this Mediterranean quinoa um, that it's three servings of a quarter of a cup dry. So this is like three quarters of a cup of quinoa that's going in there. And next I need a packet of taco seasoning. And I'm just going to top this all off with like a cup of chicken broth. So I think you can see in now that this is a whole lot of stuff in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and stir it up a teeny bit. I just want to make sure that all these flavors kind of combine together. There's a lot of stuff in here. And that looks that looks pretty well combined. So now all I'm going to do is go ahead and cover this and put it on low. Okay guys, so that is the recipe for the Southwestern style pulled chicken. Um, we are going to be eating it tonight, and I guess I'll show you later, with some flour tortillas. Um, but yeah, that seems really simple. My friend said it was delicious. Like I said, I added the quinoa, um, just kind of add to, to kind of like add a little bit of bulk to it. Um, instead of like making rice later, I just thought throw quinoa in while it's cooking and it'll be like super soft and like really well accumulated. I don't know. 
Maybe it'll work, maybe it'll turn to mush. I have no clue. I just experiment with stuff. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and clean up and then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making for lunch for myself today. Okay, you guys, so I'm ready to start cooking up my lunch and you can see here I've got a little squashy zucchini thingy, like a green one. I'm basically going to make an Alfredo pasta using this as the pasta. Okay, so now it's been properly washed, hopefully. Um, so basically all we do with this is um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the end here with a little knife and I'm going to just skin the outside of this. Um, just taking my whatever this is, vegetable peeler and taking the exterior off. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the exterior of the squash zucchini thing off. And now what I'm going to do to make this into pasta is, again, continuing with my vegetable peeler, I'm going to peel off sections of this. Um, and it'll come out kind of like a fettuccine. You'll see. You see, it looks like a little fettuccine noodle. And I've got like two piles here, one for my scraps that were the outside um, that I really don't want to eat. And then one for my good pieces that I'm going to cook. Okay, so now you can see I've gotten um, down into the zucchini to the layer that like has a lot of seeds. So when I get down to this layer, I pretty much just kind of wrap it up and I don't you know, I don't like to use too many of the pieces that are really heavily seedy. Oop. And I broke it anyway, so that's perfect because it's getting too thin, it starts to break at this point. And the seeds just, you know, you can eat the seeds, there's no problem, like clearly people eat zucchini whole. But I just find that the pieces that have too many seeds get a little bit too um, flimsy, they don't really hold up. So I've got a whole pile here of my noodles from my zucchini. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and turn on the stove and I'm going, I've just got here like, you know, pretty, a pretty small like saucepan, um, frying pan sort of thing. And I'm going to just really quickly add a little bit of, a little bit of olive oil. And let that move around. You could also use like a pan spray. Um, it's really up to you. Like you could use like, you know a spray like a cooking spray if you wanted to. But I'm just going to use olive oil because this is a pretty healthy recipe and I feel like it's good to have a little bit of oil. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit and heat up. Okay, so as you can see, the oil is now heated up. It's nice and loose. So to this, I'm going to go ahead and just pop in. the zucchini. Pop in the zucchini like that. And I'm just going to move this around. I'm actually going to go ahead and lower the heat so it doesn't burn or anything. And to the top of this I'm just going to add some salt, a little bit of garlic powder, maybe the teensiest bit of cayenne pepper. You just let this sit for just a few minutes, like two or three minutes. And as you can see, as it starts to cook, it starts to reduce down a little bit. Um, and, you know, it just sort of kind of steams up. And at this point, I'll just go ahead and scoop in a little bit of the, my desired sauce. I'm going to be using an Alfredo sauce because, but you could add anything you want technically to this. You could do like a red sauce. You could like add like a bolognese sauce if you wanted to, like whatever pasta sauce you like, you could add to it. I just um, tend to think that, I don't know, I feel like because it's vegetables and it's already pretty healthy for you, just add a little bit of the cheese sauce and it just kind of 
I don't know, I think that it makes it feel like a little bit like a treat, but without like being a guilty treat, because clearly it's not pasta. It is vegetables. I'm just eating a zucchini. So just a little bit of that, and it just kind of melts into itself. And then I'll just go ahead and I'll plate this out. Okay, you guys, so here is the pasta, the fake pasta, and I've also got my thing of water, my water jug. I, a lot of you have asked me about where you guys can get this. This is just one of those like insulated, um, it looks like a mason jar sort of cups, um, and it's got this silver chevron stripe um, on the inside. Um, and it's got like a silvery metallic-y lid and it comes with a straw. I picked this up at TJ Maxx over by the registers and this was during the summer. Yeah, it was during the summer. So like these were popular during the summer. I'm not sure if you guys can get them now. You, you can probably actually search for like um, mason jar tumbler and like metallic or chevron. They had a lot of different patterns, but you know, chevron's like one of my favorites. They also had like a Moroccan print, I think, and like maybe like a diamond print. Um, so yeah, you could get probably, you could probably find one online, um, even though they're a little bit like unseasonal right now in stores. Yeah, and right now I just have my computer out over here. I'm just working on a blog post that's going up on Thursday. Um, so that is how I'm gonna spend me lunch. So let me really quickly take a taste of one of these for you guys. Um, so you guys can see, and I just, you know, twirl around some noodle. It's really good. Like a little noodle, see? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is actually a really great alternative, you guys, for if you guys like pasta. Um, but maybe you're trying to eat healthier. Um, I know a lot of people will switch to, like, more organic pasta or more, like, you know, whole wheat pasta, things like that, gluten-free pasta. This is a vegetable, so it's really good for you. So you're getting a veggie in there, and you can top it, like I said, with whatever you would put on normal, like, spaghetti or pasta. Um, and I think this is delicious, and, yeah, I'm glad I got to show you guys this. Okay, guys, as you can see, um, it's about dinner time, and I've just been breaking apart the chicken. Um, I've been pulling it apart, as you can see. I'm sorry, you guys, I did most of it um, before... I turned the camera on, I forgot I had to show the camera so you guys could see, but I was literally just taking pieces out and I'm using two forks and I don't even know if this is the way that you do it with chicken or not, but it seems to be working clearly. Um, yeah, so that's all I've been doing. You can see it like looks pretty good. Here's a big piece, kind of. I've got most of the big pieces gone and then I'm just kind of mixing it in so it gets all the seasonings. Yeah, and you know what I'm going to do real quick, you guys? I'm actually going to put in a teeny bit more seasoning right now. I haven't actually tasted this yet, but I was saying that I, I was thinking to myself that I wanted to add more things. So I'm just going to put a little bit of cumin in there. Not too much, just a little bit. Just for extra taste. A bit of garlic powder because there is no garlic powder in here. Or garlic of any sort. And I was thinking about putting cayenne. I'm going to put the teeniest little amount of cayenne in there just for a little bit of extra spice, because I don't think that taco seasoning is spicy enough. So, oops. Yeah, we can see most of this is all shredded up. So right now, Mike is actually going to start, um, he's gonna start microwaving some tortillas, some flour tortillas that we got um, in the microwave, because apparently that's how you do it. I had no clue, but it says it on the, actual container, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so they're nice and warm for when we go to serve these. Okay, so I just put together my, um, I made them like little burritos, I guess. Um, and so did Mike, that's how we did them. We put a little bit of cheese on them and we actually ended up having um, some Taco Bell sauce, <laughs> some like extra Taco Bell seasonings. So we like threw that, threw that in there. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to try these. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. Is it good? Yeah, the chicken is perfect. Okay, awesome. How's it taste? Tastes good like in a burrito? Yeah, I'm gonna keep having this. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, so, mm, dinner is over. Mike and I are just watching TV. And I'm having some, I'm gonna call this dessert. 
Um, these are leftovers from Halloween caramel apple pops. These are really cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before. They're basically like green apple flavored lollipops. They're covered in like caramel. Let me see if I can open this up and show it to you guys. I've got like the remnants of another one in my mouth. They're so good. I have like two at a time. This is what they look like. So you can see like the green underneath. It's like basically like a Jolly Rancher almost. Like a Jolly Rancher pop. And then it's got like caramel on top. It's so freaking good. I got these at Target. So yeah, this is going to be my little sweet treat tonight. A couple of these are really good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's What I Ate Wednesday. Um, our taco burrito thingies were really amazing. I'll make sure to put the recipe down below so that you guys can also um, take advantage of that. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments. Make sure to like this video if you've been liking my What I Ate Wednesday series. And of course, subscribe for more awesome videos by me. Until next time, guys, see ya. Of, you know, your shopping experience, then stay tuned because I have got six awesome apps that you need to help you while you're shopping this holiday season.